so I'm here with my video of my croc experience croc 2020 so sorry guys for being late I already made the video but actually I made it in my language mostly the video was in Hindi so I got suggestions from everyone that I should make a video in English so here I am with the, this video again in English so guys again I am I will start this video with the quote that is success is 5% brains and 95% consistency so guys why I'm starting the vlog with this quote because I want to tell all those uh, students who underestimate themselves by saying that that the person who is intelligent will score more and we can't score more so guys the thing is for success 5% is brains but 95% is consistency if you are doing it consistently you can score more than thing without taking any breaks without delaying that thing you can score more so guys for passing in croc one month or one and a half month study is enough but the person who is studying from the start can score more by studying in that one or one and a half month why because that person is having the basics clear because that person is studying from studying from the start okay guys the other thing I will say for the first year students, second year students and the third year students. First, second year students, they don't have to pressurize or get tensed about croc now. The main thing that, should, that they should do now, that they should put more focus on the subjects, the basic subjects that they are having now. Because if they will clear that basics, that, that their basic subjects, that will help you in the future. So right now, no need to get tensed about croc study for your basic subjects and clear all your doubts regarding that and the thing is in all foreign medical uh, colleges in ukraine they give you tests in all the subjects like they give you mcq test because they know that in the end you are going to have croc so if you're doing that test in your classes like you're studying that you're understanding those mcqs you're clear clearing your basics so that subject part for your croc would be done even before the starting of the three year understand that so then the third year student the third year students who are starting their studies from for croc what i would say that you have the very main subjects like ppp though path morphology pathophysiology and pharmacology so start doing that subjects more thoroughly that you should remember till the end why because in croc the more weightage of these three subject is more okay the weightage of three these three subject is more why some i'm saying that got more marks more percentage as they calculated and some got less as they calculated like even though they did the same like number of questions they did same correct questions but what i saw is the difference in the marks in these three subjects the person who has more marks in these three subject has more percentage and the person who have less marks in these three subjects got less percentage so you should focus on these three subjects i'm not saying that you should only focus on these three subjects but that subjects you will get in third year so what i'm saying if you're starting the like this year third year you will start so you will know that this is a crucial year you are having croc so pressure will be more so like do these subjects very nicely the other thing i would say guys determination like if you have made a schedule or you have decided that today you have to do this much questions so you have to do it even you are having fun with your friends not a, i'm not saying that you should sit in library for eight hours ten hours and do that personally if i'll share my experience it will be funny for you to know that i have never been to library in these three years it's not that i was not having a fear of croc in the third year starting itself i went to the library to make my library card but because of some problem like i like at that time i was not having my passport so she said she can't make my card without passport then after that the quarantine started and things went uh, not in my favor so thing is like students there are some students who need like very pain of silence to concentrate on studies but what i would say is doing mcqs like you know you use your phone you use other games apps and other apps like that install two apps in your phone like not even two apps if you can just install one app that is skate test and that k test app works without the internet also like you can solve the questions offline in that app so download that app in your phone 
What is special and good about that app is if you are doing some paper and you left that paper in the middle, you can start the paper from there itself when you want to do it again. Not like like if you are doing an inner front, if you skip it, you have to start the paper again from the starting. And there is 200 questions. So then the person gets irritated to solve the questions again. So that's why I'm saying that you can install that app KTest that is easily available in Android and in iOS both. So you can install that app and start solving questions. The subjects like anatomy, histology, biology, these subjects, at least you can start doing these subjects in the start of the third year. The MCQs of these subjects. So you will know that how much you remember from the past years. The other thing guys, I came to know about that one ministry book uh, in the end. So I couldn't solve that book, uh, all of it. But uh, whatever I saw in that book and how much I solved, what I realized is they have covered all the MCQs from all the topics in each subject. So guys, there is one ministry book for MCQs. They have all subjects and questions with like in parts, in topics. They have questions or MCQs about topics of each subjects in that book. So guys, start solving that basic questions from that book. If you are starting it from the third year start, then start doing that uh, book. If you will do that book completely, they, I don't think that apart from that book, they are going to give any question because then you will complete all the MCQs regarding all subjects and all topics. Then the other thing, if you have no time to like, if you are, you started studying late or whatever, if you have no time to study for rock, like all that book and all that question, because like for one subject, there is 300 and more than 300 questions. Because they have covered all the topics and all the MCQs. Just that do it in parts. If you are solving pet morphology now and you get irritated, start solving pharmacology. Like that, you can cover all your questions. So, guys, then uh, the other thing what I would suggest is if you have no time to do uh, those basic, then if you are st you start studying late for croc, then the most important thing that plays most important part in croc is the previous year questions. I literally know students who only studied previous year question and scored good marks in croc. Like they go fast in croc by studying just previous year paper. So guys what I would suggest is previous 10 years papers are very crucial to croc. Like till, uh, okay guys now I want to mention one website that helped me a lot and really I am very thankful to the person who made that website, Dr. Jitin Sahu. The name of the website is also the Dr. Jitin Sahu. So I will mention the link of that website. You people can also go to that website and start solving the MCQs of previous year with explanation. The best thing about the website is they give you question papers with explanation. Like you will solve one MCQ and then after that you will know the reason behind that uh, option, that why that option is correct. So I did, like they have till 2014, they have papers with explanation. So I did uh, my papers till 2014 with explanation there and really I got to know a lot of things that I didn't knew, like uh, the topics or something that uh, the reasons of uh, why that answer is this and like that. So I got so many things clear in my mind after solving uh, that with explanation. The other thing is guys, till 2000, like previous 10 years paper you should do, what you will, uh, what I realized is, question papers from 2005 till 2010, there are quite different questions. From 2012 to 2019, you will get questions like interrelated. You can relate those questions from the previous papers. But if you will go more back, you will find new questions. If you have time, solve that previous year papers, more previous years papers also, that's gonna help you only that you that will increase your knowledge so what i would say if you have time solve more previous year papers but what i would say that more focus of yours should be on the new papers like previous five years papers the other thing is guys uh, determination i was saying about determination that if you made a schedule that you have to solve two papers uh, at a day today that you have to solve one base today you have to solve that that complete that thing because really i made a schedule and i skipped one thing so that paper i literally 
skipped for like 15 days. I was thinking I'll do that paper, I'll do that paper. And after 15 days, I did that paper. So guys, if you have made a schedule, complete that schedule. Be determined that you have to do it. Uh, you don't need to sit uh, particularly. Then, uh, like what I used to do, if I know that I have to do these questions, even if I'm chilling with my friends and like we are chilling. So we discuss that questions while talking and like that. So those questions which you thought that you have to do it today, you have done it. Even, even while having fun, not like you have to sit at one place and do that. So what I'm saying is start that thing from the starting that be determined that you have to do this. So you have to do this question. Then guys, there is not like any basic book or theory book for croc. It is all about the subjects that you will study in three oh, years. Okay. One thing more I will mention that I started doing late, but you should do that now. Uh, while like I will say not uh, after solving once but after solving the paper twice you should do that what you what you should do take one paper and take one pen or m make a copy of croc like that if you are solving 2017 paper and you already solve it two times then you are solving it again and you are still getting mistakes so guys write that questions that you are doing again and again wrong so write that questions in your paper that you are doing this question wrong so like that for from one paper five questions six questions like that like maximum 10 questions you will get from each paper that you are again and again doing wrong even after doing that paper again and again you are getting that questions wrong so guys what will help why this copy is gonna help you in the end when there is only two days left to uh, do the croc like what happened with us we got the date of croc two days before so two days before you have no time to revise the papers the bases everything so what you're gonna revise in the last two days is that copy only because like that you will not have to solve whole paper again you will solve the mistakes you are having so you will like that you will cover the whole paper because if you are doing those mistakes again you will solve that paper again you will do that mistakes only so like that if you will have a copy of the questions you are doing again and again wrong it will be really helpful for you in the end so start writing your mistakes and that's gonna help you in the end this will save your time in the end then guys the other thing if you are solving one question that question says this 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 and the type of this so you will have five options the answer would be one option but if you are studying that question, you should study all those five options, like everything about those five options. If you will get another question and the answer would be another option, so you should know that. Like that if you are solving one question, you will cover five questions with that by just solving that topic. So what I would say if you are solving that thing for the first time, clear your topic regarding that question. Like that you will solve five questions by doing just one. Okay, so I mentioned about the website in uh, Dr. Jitin Sahu and the application K-Test. K-Test would be really helpful guys, I would say. That's gonna help you. Uh, and then the, I told you about the university book also. That university book, if you will get it in your library or anywhere, that's good. But otherwise, I have that book in my telegram. If you can't get that book from anywhere, you can write it on my Facebook page or write below this video in YouTube. Uh, guys, what I would say that I can't read my DMs in uh, Instagram all the time because that my Instagram account, account is my personal account. So, thing is, if you want have any other queries, please write it on my Facebook page or write it on uh, my YouTube. Okay. The other thing is, guys, now if you are prepared, like you did, you studied everything, you completed everything. The next thing that comes is the elimination of fear. One problem I have, I studied everything, but I can't give my 100% because of nervousness, because of getting sick and like that. So guys, what I started, how the main focus for me then after studying, the main focus for me was to eliminate those fears that makes my score less. So I consulted my father, my father is a doctor, so I consulted him that uh, he knows that uh, before exam uh, what my condition goes like I get dehydration and uh, problems uh, digestion problems like that 
So you said that you have like kind of exam phobia, so because of that you get things like that. So what he told me that you start drinking water, like I have problem, I can't drink a lot of water. So then like what I would suggest you guys that you should eliminate these things that can make your score less. Like that you will eliminate your fear, your nervousness. So not I'm saying not only put all efforts in studies, like not only studying 24 hours, and getting deteriorating your health what i would say take care of yourself also because you are the one who's gonna write the paper your brain is not gonna write the paper you are going to write the paper so take care of yourself also have a good diet and whatever you get during exams eliminate those things okay guys uh, that is like personal thing keep it apart again i'll come to the uh, paper and crop thing the other thing guys if you are solving it in phone ipad or anything like if you are solving it on electronics you will after some time you will try you will catch that answer like you the question comes you click the question comes you click so guys what happened with me the first time when i solved the, pa uh, the question paper on the paper i thought that all these questions are new like it was really difficult for me to find the answer at that time and the papers which I did, like scoring uh, good in Unitron, I have problem in doing that paper in paper. So guys, how you will eliminate it? What we do, what we did, like we got booklets. So in this booklets, the answer is A. So while solving that, like it will not make any difference. So what we did, we made question papers whose answers are not in the, on, on that paper. The answers are not A. The correct answers are not A. So we actually made a paper till 2013 uh, till 2019. We've made papers from 2013 to 19 uh, that paper and we got printouts. So then we solved those papers and same like we were gonna solve it in the exam like by putting a time and like that. So like that we eliminated the fear of doing that thing in exam. Like, it, like the person who did only in phone the question papers and everything and never studied from the book or never studied from the papers mm -hmm. the person will see that paper for the first time like that in OMRT and everything you will get more nervous so how you will eliminate that fear solve uh, do take that question papers and start solving it before like five days or like that you can do that these things start solving papers on papers and by doing OMR or writing like, like what I would say is by writing so that you will eliminate that fear okay guys so i think finally we are done like i explained everything regarding uh, the croc and my experience also so what guys i will tell you that no need to get tense no need to uh, get like fear of it croc is not a big thing to deal with if you are studying consistently if you are studying it from the start if you are uh, doing your classes on time and everything you will have no problem in passing crop and more focus if you are starting late would be on previous year paper okay guys so now i will answer the questions which i got on instagram <coughs> okay guys so one girl uh, sent me a message request she said hello good morning ma'am i saw your post that you have cleared crop one with flying colors congratulations could you please give some tips about crop one it will be really nice of you. I have exam in Feb and I am super nervous. I don't know why. Please help me out. Okay, so first of all, thank you so much, girl, for uh, this. And I already gave you tips. And uh, okay, guys, by this word tips, the main thing which I skipped in the video, I realized keywords. In croc, there is a very important role of keywords. Like there are some questions whose answer it is because you will find keyword, keyword is particularly a word or a sentence that you will find in your question and by uh, that word or question you can correlate your answer that questions mainly comes in the second part that the second uh, exam you have in croc that is the terminology part in which you have to get 30 percent to uh, pass that questions mainly you will see in that part of the exam but by doing that uh, keyword questions you can cover a lot of uh, 
questions from croc exam also which i which i got on my instagram uh, was people asking about the schedule and the hours i study so guys that is particularly your personal choice like it depends on you if uh, you made a schedule but what i will suggest you is uh, if you are making a schedule for a one month or like that so at least do two, two or three papers a day but how like if you are solving 2017 and 2018 paper today then don't don't solve that paper tomorrow again solve that paper after two days or three days why because if you will solve it frequently uh, like simultaneously you will uh, know the questions but if you will solve it after few days you will know that how much you are remembering like that you can make a schedule and like guys hours and that thing is completely your personal choice that depends like how fast you are memorizing the questions and uh, the other thing uh, which books i prefer and that thing that thing i covered in the video that there is no particularly theory book uh, i mentioned uh, the websites the apps from where i studied and i even mentioned the book also so thank you guys uh,